is uh, Seth Allen went into the he went into the teeth of the zone and left his feet. And uh, when you leave your feet and you got a pass in the air, bad things happen. Turnover, Virginia Tech. Notre Dame has not made a field goal since the 7:48 mark of the first half. Shot clock is at eight. Beecham slashing to the rim. Rimmed out for Colson. He's got some decent looks too, but uh, that one you know, just kind of went halfway down and out. One of those nights for him. And Kevin on the nice back area. First touch for Demetrius Jackson, number 11. He and Rodriguez, that's a fantastic battle of small, speedy guards. There they are right there. See, when Bonzi Colson, 35 and white, catches that ball at the free throw line area, he's got to be willing to make a play. It'll loosen up some offense on the weak side for the Irish. Almost a walk by Colson that time. Now underneath, nice Jackson got loose. Well, they tried to double team him, and he split the double team and just went right to the basket. Again, we talked about him. He's a key today because he's coming off a zero point performance. I expect good things like he just did that. Well, he's got six points by Bryce Johnson, the rebound by Jaron Graham. So North Carolina really guards the three point line. Their opponents are shooting 25%. Oh, the oh, best in the country. Of 26 and a half points per game. Can you learn anything? about the Irish heading into those games coming up against Villanova and Purdue. Yeah, I, wow, what a nice cut. Now they have the lead and the ball at 8.19 to go. Jackson lost the handle. Box is coming. To... His jump shot won't. Torres has the rebound. Irish want to push. Farrell surveys the scene. Drops it off to Bastoria, who was trailing the play. Torres, good back cut. There's Beecham. And three for BC. Led the team coming in with 49 made, but he has really set his eyes on the rim and gotten there with those 17 to lead all scorers in our game this afternoon. Cutter is France. All of a sudden, in a screening, he finds out that he has colon cancer, and so none of us are immune, no matter how healthy we are. Get yourself checked when you can. They got to fight the three for Connington. They got to fight an open look for Connington. They're going into August again. Cutting his oh, nice coach. At the 6:46 mark, leading 79-52. Here's Farrell over the midcourt stripe. Farrell right foul line extended to Colson. Colson. Baseline bounce pass to Vast Story. Afternoon two, which were clear. I couldn't quite see that one. No. I was shielded. Beecham. Started by Palmer. I think you can drive it right at Jakiri and create some offense there for Pat Connaughton because he's late getting out there. Nice. That's a nice and one. Set man, that's going to hit your win on the road. Vast Story is so important to seniors in the fighting Irish attack. I love the way they move the basketball. Shot clock to five. Look at that. Forget about it. He's been a very consistent contributor this season, coach, as a graduate student and a transfer oh, from yeah. Southern Miss. Yeah, there's been two, there's two graduate uh, players uh, for BC. And you're right, they've been very helpful. And Dimitri Batten is the other. Oh, Demetrius Jackson is open. Is... That was a very good year. Did you have a particularly good year? <laughs> yeah. Not bad. You were with who at the time? I was with the Indiana Pacers. Second year in the NBA after the merger. Back door. Beautiful backdoor pass. Oh, what a... Remember, Notre Dame won 15 games all of last year. They win tonight. It's 16 wins here in early January. Jackson off to Grant. I'm just amazed they didn't score a point in the first half. And yet here they are with a 29-24 lead. Changing direction down the lane. Gives up for Connaughton. The guy you wanted to take that shot in that situation. By the way, Connaughton is scoreless in the second half, Dan. And that's what he did in the pit game. He didn't score in the second half. Bastorio. Fun to watch. Notre Dame just continue to be patient. Don't force anything. A lot of basketball left. You can get back into this game. Vastoria against Anya. That's such. Iris lead it by two as we hit the three minute mark of this first half. Midwest Regional Final from Cleveland, Ohio. Notre Dame getting deep.
deep in the clock here, down to 10, Bonzi Colson. Thursday night for Indiana-Purdue, that's always a special rivalry. Be with you there, can't wait for that one. A great environment is always there as Colson has it up high. Backdoor cut, Vestoria. Now Fluger to get them into the offense. Beecham down the lane. He's uh, got it. Beautiful. Hey, see Mike Bray on the sideline wants the Irish to push. And by pushing, you make the St. Peter seem a little uncomfortable. Vastoria slips it to Beecham. And that's one of the areas where Mike Bray talked to us about whether or not they will play a lot of man-to-man -man and chase Georgia Tech around these screens. And you see a beautiful field scores. So Notre Dame with the basketball, FSU had an early two-point lead, but Notre Dame got up to a five-point advantage. Oh, nice to cover right the ball. And as far as they won for five at the line. That's 20%, man. That's something to get your win on the road. That story is so important to senior in a fighting Irish attack. I love the way they move the basketball. Shot clock Look to five. That. Look at that. Forget about that, Colson. 38% shooter beyond the three-point line. He needed 23 points tonight to reach 1,000 career points. On the cut, underneath, and a win. 6-6 uh, six, six on the perimeter. He went off for 22 and nine rebounds against Virginia Tech. This is a Florida State team, unlike other Leonard Hamilton teams. It's not just about defense and blocking shots. Way downtown and decided by eight points or less. Dick, they're nine and three in those games. Well, they started the ACC really off well, five and oh, until they lost to Florida State. Kevin into the oh, game, back for a cut barrel. They'll swing it up top. Beecham with a two pointer. No. And Demetrius Jackson, the sophomore from Mishawaka, Indiana. Bastoria, here is Grant. And there's Colleton, his senior mate. And Steve Bastoria as Georgia Tech opens man to man. Connaughton attacking on the dribble. Bastoria falling off the long trigger. Here's Jackson with six on the shot clock. Bounces through. Connaughton whirled it up. Uh, kind of had a mind of its own on uh, that possession. Mike Bradnick wanted a foul down the other end of the floor. But until Notre Dame came up with possession, uh, Virginia kept some players back. Backdoor cutting! He's in today. He's been a guy, been the creator. Farrell denied on the baseline. He comes in averaging 14 points and six assists per game. He's really passing well. Nice backdoor clock. He'll lay it in. What a terrific. And now Roosevelt Jones back up top to check Jackson. Carlos down there on Jared Grant. Jackson looking for him. Notre Dame can take the lead. Connaughton, he's been quiet offensively tonight. He has a long Cameron Woods 6'10 body with length. This is tough for Alex Barlow. He has four fouls. He's checking Jared Grant. Grant, a crossover. Trying to take Travis. Good pass up and under. That last jump shot by Grant was so important. You can beat your man and get into the paint. And I don't care who you are. If you're 5 for 10, you're not going to shoot over three seven footers. And what did he do? Penetrated, brought it back out, and then got the one dribble jump shot. You're going to have to make mid range jumpers against these guys blocking so many shots inside. They've had three ties already, five lead changes. But what's happening? now as you're getting Jaron Grant and Demetrius Jackson out there in space and they're making you pay. And we talked earlier about the uh, offensive abilities of Notre Dame. Keep in mind Wichita State, a very good defensive team, like second of the conference, right? Honestly, but it uh, has not. That breaks a streak, by the way, of nine straight games where he failed to score in double figures. That'll be something to wake Wichita State up on the offensive end. But defensively is where this game may possibly get away from them. As you said, most efficient team in the half court in the nation. Bernie, I'll tell you what, those were some great memories. The only bad part is uh, I get to relive those bad haircuts. They show that every March. <laughs> now you chase, chase to not be trendy when you
Young. Yeah, what? Go with the flow. Well, Notre Dame really in the celebration. Now yeah. they're moving on to play Baylor. A good friend of mine. And you, you talk about Ron Hunter. They had a fabulous year the season before. Didn't make it to the tournament this year. They made it. And just to celebrate, him, jumped up and blew out his Achilles. But congratulations to them getting to this tournament. And, uh, they're back up early in this game. They're shooting 71% from the field in the first five minutes. Last four possessions for Notre Dame. Three misses and a turnover. And it was a lazy turnover on the throwaway by Jackson. August, nothing doing there. Vestoria for three. That will... I was talking to him before the game and he said, the finger feels much better tonight. So painful. He had complete range of motion and shouldn't be a problem for the game tonight. Yeah, that is a good report. Thanks, Lewis. And I know it was important for Calipari to get him back on the floor, even though it was a blowout game. As... Notre Dame has protected that basketball. Just four turnovers in their last 34 possessions after they had turned it over with alarming frequency earlier. And Beecham corrals. Martin Gevin back in the game. Like to see if they go down low to him. The fast start with six points. Great pass to a cutting Beecham. Directions, and that has kind of messed Notre Dame up a little bit with their helps, which has allowed them to be able to get down in the gaps. And then sometimes when you get it going, you take some deep shots. He shot that one three from the Shamrock. <laughs> it all nets. But I like when Notre Dame goes to Bonsi Coulson because, again, he's a Tell you what, those were some great memories. The only bad part is uh, I get to relive those bad haircuts. They show that every March. <laughs> now you chase, chase to not be trendy when you're young. Yeah, what? Go with the flow. Well, Notre Dame really in the celebration. Now they're yeah. moving on to play Baylor. A good friend of mine. And you, you talk about Ron Hunter. They had a fabulous year the season before. Didn't make it to the tournament this year. They made it. And just to celebrate, jumped up and blew out his Achilles. But congratulations to them getting to this tournament. And, uh, they're back up early in this game. They're shooting 71% from the field in the first five minutes. Last four possessions for Notre Dame. Three misses and a turnover. And it was a lazy turnover on the throwaway by Jackson. August, nothing doing there. Vestoria for three. That will... I was talking to him before the game and he said, the finger feels much better tonight. So painful. He had complete range of motion and shouldn't be a problem for the game tonight. Yeah, that is a good report. Thanks, Lewis. And I know it was important for Calipari to get him back on the floor, even though it was a blowout game. As that more so a secondary. They flowed into offense. Collins came up and set the screen. Bastori did not step on the ball. He buries a triple. Collins already with 10 points and 8 rebounds. Beecham fakes the three. Fluger on the move. Gets it to go. He's a great pickup for Coach Gregory. The Jackets extend the lead to 10. Grant with a little drop step. Nice move. I'm with you. I mean, the idea of both of them playing at the same time sounds good. I think they're better when it's one at a time. And they I'm have been in this coach. game. I'm going to make you coach Fleming now. I keep it simple. <laughs> Gibbs. A little up in the little guy. Irish come away with it. Jackson giving his team a little bit of life right now. A little spark through his legs down the lane. Oh. Floater yet. Not like they've come out and been this offensive juggernaut. It's just been Notre Dame's offense has been horrendous in the second half. Well, Bastoria made it three. Shot. Gibbs again trying to get around Allen. by double digits. <laughs> Their defense was yep. so good against Florida State, holding to 44 points under 40% from the field. And when you mentioned the job that Mike Toby did, Evan Nolte came in and really stretched the defense, hit some big shots in the game. Hey, Jackson with a second one goes down. I think we'll give him a little bit more confidence to keep shooting. There's that full court pressure by Louisville. And it's not always designed to steal the ball, just to speed up the offense a little bit. Gibbs. Oh, nice Beautiful move. move. Oh. With a good advance pass. And that ends a 6-0 Irish run. Go, 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 go. Gibbs, the reverse. Where they scored, what, 
what they have 30 points in the paint in the first half those are remarkable but with all the progress duke seems to have made in the second half they've only got five points off the deficit make it this is gameplay goes going but he's definitely invested in the success of this program. Reverse to the ball has ever accomplished. Well, Notre Dame spent an awfully long time as an independent in college basketball. But a member of the Big East and now the ACC, it would be incredibly significant to win an ACC championship. What a drop. Six hours lead down to 11. Fast story now, baseline Beecham. His reverse layup on a nice... Knocking it down tonight. Brad Student, the transfer from Campbell, who started his career at Kent State. Very good shooter. It is Grant, who's had a dynamite first half. Grant with a head of steam. All the way inside. 41 remaining. First half of play. Notre Dame 11. Chicago State 10. Gibbs with the basketball. Dumps it on over now to Vastoria. Vastoria in the corner to Beecham. Beecham up top to Ryan. Ryan... Right side now to Gibbs. Gibbs in the corner of Astoria. Drives baseline. Double pumps off the game. winning points against the Blue Devils January 28th in that win against number four Duke. 77 to 73. That was his only three-pointer of the game. And the Irish erased a 10-point deficit of the second half to beat Duke. This is I had that great game with North Carolina. Carolina beat them with their size on the interior. They really did. Notre Dame coming in at 18 and 7. Florida State at 21 and 4. FSU's in the top. 20, number 14. Notre Dame has tumbled out of the top 25. And ESPN, the home court of college hoops. Astoria being covered by Plumley right now, who is coming to the game for Okafor. So again, some unusual matchups in this game tonight. Beach him! Uh, I can find out to a certain degree, and the stats don't matter. But you're 6'10 and skilled like him. You can't go to a half and play multiple minutes and be 0 for 1. And he's huge for them. Absolutely. He's huge for them on both ends of the floor. The seven block shots was incredible. He's going to chew down the stretch. It's, very slicing. it's normally from Mo Jeffers, but he looked good there. The 6'9 grad student out of Washington, D.C. You see that five-out offense with Fluger cutting down the lane. Exactly, Rich. Check the spacing out, and that enables drive to the back. Opportunity from three. It's now two for nine from three points for Villanova. They're shooting 40% coming in. Just don't forget Ryan here. They go over the top and take advantage as well as anybody. Look at this kid break the lane. Quick. Putting on the deck. Little. 7 0 run here by Wichita State to cut the lead down to six. And one of the things out of that timeout, Greg Marshall wanted an aggressive move to the basket. He got it from Rod Baker. Baker gets to the line. Nice move by, um, by Clark. Four points for Chris Clark, sophomore from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Shoots a sizzling 62% from the floor, and it helps when you get that close to the rim if you're Clark. Love his game. Very versatile. Astoria. Oh, for Okafor. They're just going to have to keep scoring. But right now, the way that Notre Dame's going to be able to protect this lead isn't just by getting stops. They're not going to be able to rely on that. They have got to score. Astoria fading away. Everything he told us he didn't want to happen is happening. Turnovers. Taking care of the basketball. No wonder he said that was the key. Pokies with 10 turnovers in the game. Astoria angling to the rim. Top 10 team, Fighting Irish. You recall their marquee win last year, Coach, when they went to Syracuse and beat the number one. Back on the floor with the four fouls. The difference in this game could be at the point guard spot. Demetrius Jackson and Heath. Astoria. Grant, here is Colson. Jaron Grant. Gastoria into traffic. Left hand layup. No balls. And the George Washington transfer making his first start of the season. Colson goes to work on Idowu and spins it in. Four second difference between the game clock and the shot clock for Notre Dame up 48-35.
Now Ryan trying to get it back to Farrell. Tend to shoot. He's shown he can get right to the basket. Stay tenacious. Farrell was ready to launch another three. He had just made one. He kicks it. Vasturia. Lost it for a second. There are a lot of deflections, and Miami very active on defense. So one thing, Farrell has great awareness where his teammates are. Great vision to the field. He knows where his teammates are. Man, what a leader. Good call. Farrell put the accelerator to the floor. Baseline's clear. Austin Torres into the game now, number one in the blue for Notre Dame, along with Rex Fluger. Coming off the... the rules. I'd like to see them go to six fouls for DQ rather than five. So many great players, two quick fouls are sitting next to a coach. The only sport where you penalize star players by putting them on a bench. Let them play. People want to see them. That was the downfall when you and I had that great game with North Carolina. Carolina beat them with their size on the interior. They really did. Notre Dame coming in at 18 and 7. Florida State at 21 and 4. FSU's in the top 20, number 14. Notre Dame has tumbled out of the top 25. You got to convert late in the game. Seven second differential, shot clock and game clock. Irish the ball and the lead. Tough to foul them, too. Remember. They are excellent on that free throw line. They spread the court. Farrell looks for any kind of seam and gap. His head's up all the time looking for an open guy. Vasturia almost lost it, kept it, lays it up, lays it in. Conversation with Jeff Hartness, his game play goes on. But he's definitely invested in the success of this program. Revert. Great job when he puts your team up in Rhode Island. Vestoria finding an open lane, really seeking contact. W for them on the road. And for Notre Dame, they want to get in the tournament, and they're not going to be in the tournament. You win nine games in this conference, you're in the tournament. Now look at their 19th win of the season here tonight. And they have been very crisp. Shot clock at seven. Colson, strong drive, and... Holman by 50 points. Wow. Not 15, 50. Wow. wow. They're capable. They got that deep bench. They went through that little slide. Georgia Tech put the hurt on them. Then they lost to Syracuse. Yeah, they're locked up right now. Three-way tie for second. Carolina leading the conference. Beach a nice little turnaround. Difficult shots. First points for Sam Idowu, the sophomore from Brooklyn. Colson calling for it, and he gets it from Rex Fluger. Bonzi Colson working on Idowu. Barrel, cross court find Bastoria, four to shoot, and the lawyer Stevie. Gotta move quick, six of the shots. Has been set up for the Irish off the ball screen. Their ball screen action has been really good tonight. The reads have been crisp. Shot clock winding down again. Farrell, a little jitterbug crossover. Had a lot of feet problems. Barry showed him good leadership skills on that floor. Shot wasn't falling early, but he's getting the ball to people. Beecham lifts and connects on a two. And six rebounds already. And he wasn't rattled, Brian. Double team coming. Just turned away from the double team to the baseline and knocked it down. That was a nice shot by Bryce Johnson. Rex Fluger manning the point guard right now. Gets a chance to have Jackson play off the ball, which is what Bray likes to do with him. Now Jackson, inside, will turn around. And he gets a that was really good active help by Notre Dame on that possession, though. Astoria. Wilson kicks it out. We have some more noise. Well, he can feel it. This is this can be one of these turning points in a game where the last couple of minutes you can either extend this lead or Notre Dame can bite into it. Luger not dragged me along. Believe me. Well, well, let me tell you this. I heard that the best guard of Providence was not Donovan. It was Doris. Doris had handle. I'll tell you that. And she was competitive. Yep. 
still is. We were talking to Jim. Pretty move, nothing to show no, for. That was a great move in the lane. Just recognition that he had the big size advantage on Jackson, but didn't force it, spun in the lane, shot over him, just couldn't buy it. Head coach Mike Bray pacing the sidelines. Five to shoot. I love the I love the, the drive, the pass, and the great second effort by a big guy. See what Clemson can do defensively. They need some stops. A big one as St. Peter's was four for 19 from beyond the arc. And this is a Notre Dame team that scores nearly 85, 85 plus points a game. St. Peter's held them today. Beecham has. Namdi and Echi Onya. Redshirt junior from Springfield, Virginia. He stays with Colson, who dishes it off for Beach. This young man, just a very good scorer, can pass it, can help this program in a lot of different ways. The challenge tonight for Colorado will be the motion presented by this Notre Dame offense. Staying in front, working through screens. Colson with five on the shot. Come away with it. Jackson giving his team a little bit of life right now. A little spark through his legs down the lane. Oh, Florida. ended it to Notre Dame. Yeah, bad play right there. Farrell steps in, cutting on the baseline. Beach him, that's pretty. What Connaughton. Iron. And Gibbs brings it the other way for Notre Dame. Finds Ryan in the corner. Back to Gibbs. He tees it up, puts it in. One for their last nine. And the drought has reached nearly nine minutes for the Eagles from the floor. And that one. gives him a little more athleticism on the defensive end to contain some of these guards. Middle in there, it's a tough matchup. Nice pass. Beach him for three. Into the fall that center. <laughs> right. Colson tried to help Bastoria, defended by Brandon Allen. Beach him. Step back three. Notre Dame. A team that last year was just a little bit short, where if Blossom game had a big game, then it could be their night. If he didn't, it couldn't be their night. This year, if he doesn't have a big game, it could still be their night. Yeah, absolutely, because he hasn't really put up major numbers here this afternoon. But with a little one, two, two, usually goes back to zone. Let's see if they stay man here. If nothing else, takes 10 seconds off the shot clock before Notre Dame gets set. The feature. Go above the rim on the back line. You have to stay attached. But oftentimes, with the shooters on the floor, it's difficult to do against the zone defense. Beach him for three. Here is Farrell. Three minutes gone and a two-point Florida State lead. Look at the skip out. Here's Colson. Fighting against Isaac. Beach him a three at the front. I couldn't imagine. Didn't play last time against Albany, but someone who can score in double figures for the Raiders. Rex Fluger, zero in wide in. Steve Vastoria, straight away. They are positionless teams, both of these clubs. You do know Chris Farrell runs the show, but right now they get nice pump and the chance. How about that? Just second half. Grant. August. Irish still have it. Shot clock did not reset. Jackson. I tell you, Brown's come to play. He's open because they're double team in the handle. Astoria from the corner for three. And what I think is remarkable is, to me, Akil Mitchell was an underrated loss. Everybody knew Joe Harris would be a big miss. Akil Mitchell was a big time guy for this Virginia team. Went to the Sweet 16. They expect to go deeper this year. Beecham lines one up. It drought for Boston College's offense. Some teams see zone and go, wow, man, we got to settle for jump shots. Absolutely not. Now, there's a double team. I like the adjustment Jim just made. 
on Bonzi Colson. Deacham for three. Go. Then they lose to Miami. They kind of slide back a little bit. They need to pick up one to get back in the topic of discussion as far as a team that can make the NCAA tournament. This is a golden opportunity on their home floor. 74 is their RPI, which is just about where it was when they were left out of the tournament. They've missed some open shots, but the rest of it, they've turned it over. They've not moved the ball. They've not, they have not played well offensively in the second half. Seth, how did the Irish get their mojo back? I think two things. Jay, you're exactly right. This 3-2 zone has disrupted any type of offensive rhythm for Notre Dame, and they haven't gotten any consecutive stop. Jay, as that pass was headed right to Meeks underneath the basket. Surprised that Bryce Johnson didn't just shoot that off the glass. He's so good at that. Connacho! Get there, Conover runs down the rebound, and Jackson leads into the front court. Find your three-point shooters on the floor. This time, Tony Jakiri, 23 in black, is on Jaron Trent. Clear space and let him go to work. What do you think about Connington for three? Both coaches working as hard as any of their players. Beach him. Georgia Tech stays in that man-to-man. Story with Bolden there. Here's Connaughton. Kicks it to Beecham for three, and it rattles in. Miss. Matt Farrell steps into a three. The game, of course, is a capable three-point shooter, but that's one where he settled for a shot in comparison to, I honestly think he had a lane to drive it to the rim and put more pressure on the defense. Ryan for Notre Dame's playing well, but they're still right now running into a club that's playing exceptional. And Twitter down six. Luger taking on Hicks. The kick for Farrell. Another shot. He Ten in the first half. Just five for eight in the second thus far. Eight minutes to go. Boston College led for the entire first half, but went into a slump to start the second half. They find themselves down by three. Here's more of that five-out offense from Mike Bray. And Beach. Well, not only is that a factor, their ability to make free throws a major factor. Colson, back out. You know, you don't see many bad shots, Obi. They understand shot selection. Talking about Notre Dame, no question yep. about it. They understand shot selection. They can hit their threes. They make their twos. And that guy's making it. Picks it up. Coming up on one minute to go. Notre Dame has trailed from the outset. Here's Farrell. Got down by Connaughton. Jaron Grant. Nine. Look at this. The left hand. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you saw Tony Bradley, who's 6'11, right up in his grill there, but he's got to shoot that shot. Best story of trying to penetrate. And he kicks out. Here's Farrell. Yes, says he Looks like Notre Dame's going move the basketball down and then when it gets down to about 16 17 seconds get the basketball to demetrius jackson spread it out and let him run high pick and roll and try to get into the paint very little bench play here tonight these starters played a lot of minutes now into the ot shot clock at four grant on the take kicks it Vistoria. yes kai bowman made the first basket of the game with and i love jim christian going back to it what a night it's been for Bowman. 22 already. We might be looking at his fourth 30-point effort of the season. Confidence to go ahead and take that shot after he's had a tough night shooting. Good job by Ross Turner. Good job by Barber getting to a good old wide open to you. Connaughton on good road. Look at the step here on our North Carolina players. Notre Dame's playing well, but they're still right now running into a club that's playing exceptional. And Twitter down six. Luger taking on Hicks. The kick for Farrell. Another shot. He here he hasn't scored, but he can defend. Rolls back in front. I think what Mike Ray likes about his three guys off the bench. He plays an eight-man rotation, and those three guys really give him a lift defensively. Beach him. Fluger. Here's Gibbs, the freshman. He once scored 50 in a high school game. He has eight points in the first half. Man to man defense, North Carolina, nothing fancy. Spreading the court, Notre Dame. Mike Bray, such a great teacher in offensive execution. Farrell off He's the fake, a two pointer, yes. Astoria, second effort. Decides to kick it out. 
They played on Thursday night. They did not practice on Friday. Came here a couple hours before the game. And hit. They once scored 50 in a high school game. He has eight points in the first half. Man to man defense. North Carolina, nothing fancy. Spreading the court, Notre Dame. Mike Bray, such a great teacher in offensive execution. Farrell off He's the fake. A two pointer. Yes. Notre Dame team. Astoria, second effort. Decides to kick it out. They played on Thursday night. They did not practice on Friday. Came here a couple hours before the game. And here he hasn't scored, but he can defend. Knowles back in front. I think what Mike Gray likes about his three guys off the bench. He plays an eight-man rotation, and those three guys really give him a lift defensively. Beecham, Fluger. Here's Gibbs, the freshman. Right away, they should play Kentucky. They both should play. That's up to Tom Creed, and that's up to John Calabar. Set your Eagles aside and play that game. They should do it, just like this day is so good for basketball in this state. You get the, the doubleheader with all the fans here at the NBA arena. Farrell up top. That's the freshman Gibbs who hits. This numbers have gone up recently, and uh, really has been playing well in the last three, averaging nine points a game. It's almost double his season average. Tied to 11. Here's Gibbs again for three, Mike. And but and I'm not saying North Carolina's been disappointed. Right? Don't, don't get me wrong, but and they have a veteran group, skilled players, good bigs. The steel Pinson. You know, That's the first possession the Panthers have scored against the Irish zone defense. Michael Young caught him in the sweet spot. Farrell had to be the one to guard him. Young simply shot over the top of the smaller defender. Panthers led by as many as 11 in the first half. Irish just tied it up. They can go. Walker, once he catches, if you give him any room, he's going to put it up. Well, he's got great range from behind the arc. As you see, he's a slasher, can get to the rim. Their best athlete. Certainly a guy Mike Bray had his eyes on in the scout leading up to this matchup. Brian is tough to contest because he basically shoots this flat footage. And he shoots it for some, so deep. He's going to step back by. But earlier, they've got to lay off the referees and just play through it at this point. Luger. Pressure by man. Into the corner, Ryan's three. And because of Notre Dame's defense. Portly tipped that one out. So it stays with Notre Dame. Rex Fluger. Finds Matt Farrell. And Matt Ryan that quality point guard and McIntosh. I feel like these two teams are somewhat similar. Certainly does. Enjoy the half court look. Skilled guards. Colson from there's the ball screen coming. He had no idea if a ball screen was coming or not. And that opened up that lane. For Marcus George's hunt to just turn down the ball screen and head baseline. But he still shouldn't be able to get all the way to the rim. The weak side defense has to be better. Fluger. Cross court. Beecham. Got it. Opener. It doesn't worry Mike Bray all that much because he knows that the rest of his team can pick up the slack. But certainly Irish fans would like to see more from B.J. Beecham. Will they become even more dangerous? And he fell out in seven minutes versus Florida State. I had to look at numbers to find out where that ranks as far as the fastest foul out in the ACC this year. You'd be surprised. It's not number one. And his next level research. Connaughton got through the double team. Oh, Lane very active on the offensive end, but tipped to Farrell. Farrell, one of the most improved guys in America when he came from last year. Luger lets fly in the back. Rough start to the second for Wake Forest. Bastoria. That should have been the Irish going the other way. It makes a little weirdness to look up at the shot clock and know he had to let it fly. Beecham does. Basketball is exactly where college basketball is. Everybody's a free agent. <laughs> Bastoria. Nice. They went for the big haymaker there off of Culver's fingertips, but used 10 players already. Luger with a bounce. Colson in heavy traffic. Got it off somehow. Got the pass away. On well, the sides made them bring the ball back out. Astoria, Colson, got it. But he can hit that 15-footer, and when you have Baker coming off a pick and roll, Van Vliet coming off a pick and roll, and he can space the floor, that's just a great job knocking down the shot. Darius Carter, 7 of 9, he has 
He has 15 points. Good catch by Colson to keep it alive. Nice ball movement. Great job by Childers. Good vision. And then from an Irish standpoint, not good ball screen defense on their, their part or help defense. Fluger kicks it out for T.J. Gibbs. A story, a nice fake. Here's the three. Got it. No will guard Grant. Grant got caught in the air. And Notre Dame very fortunate to get the ball back. Oh, look at that ball move. That's big time. And it's a power move doesn't go. Got a fine line. Vastoria. Field goal percentage, fewest turnovers, and assist to turnover ratio. Great rebound by Connaughton. Vastoria is on Notre Dame control of the tip. Ein Eagle. Grim. Yeah. Welcome. Good right down. Two counts. That is your first career man-to-man -man grant. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm here with the legend. It's going to be fun. Number four in the country, Duke. Number ten in the nation, Notre Dame. Spread the floor in a half-court set. Grant on a kick for Story. Open. 40, Notre Dame at 43 in their RPI. Notre Dame starts with the basketball second half. Here's August to Vastoria to Connaughton. It's the same 10 that started the game on the floor to start the half. Good ball movement. Excellent ball movement. Great look yes. for Vastoria. A heave ahead for Farrell. Beecham hoists the three. Yes. Weiss is so productive. At, you know, off the dribble, especially finding the finding the lane, and even if not scoring, finding his teammates on the perimeter. A nice play there to finish that one. Now, one of two guys, John Dunn, really wants to build off that last performance. Him and Quadier Welton. Another open look for V. Had just four. Six against Pittsburgh in the ACC opener. It doesn't worry Mike Bray all that much because he knows that the rest of his team can pick up the slack. But certainly Irish fans would like to see more from V.J. Beecham. Will they become even more dangerous from against the team that's ranked 18th in the country. That's the test here tonight for St. Francis. Thus far, doing an outstanding job. Colson exits. Farrell in to replace him. Jackson explodes to the hoop and the clean. Thompson hits one of two at the foul line. Notre Dame by a point. August left side. Our first look at Matt Farrell. He's checked in along with the sharp shooting freshman out of New Jersey, Matt Ryan. He'll pull the trigger and hit. Well A heave ahead for Farrell. Beecham hoists the three. Yeah. Just about three minutes gone in Notre Dame with a four-point lead over Colorado. Here's Farrell getting down the lane for Vastoria in the corner. To the basket and a waiting. Might be, but it seems like his real future is in baseball. Well, that'll help a little negotiation, sir. The more people interested in you, the more you get. Demetrius Jackson on the drive. Banks it home. That would be a terrific yeah. matchup. In fact, I got the Zags going to the Final Four. I saw them one time. I'm so impressed with their offensive. Yeah. Kyle Wiltshire has become tremendous there, former Kentucky player. Yeah, Mark Hughes got a great team this year. What a... Northeastern counts on him to make the threes. He is a big-time three-point shooter, over 55% this year from behind the arc. Jackson, on fake, going to the hole. What he does best... Yeah, I think Notre Dame needs to work some clock here. Get the basketball in the hands of their best ball handlers. Demetrius Jackson, Jaron Grant, 22, and White. Move that basketball around and force this Miami defense to have to work and look for dribble penetration at the end of the clock for some kicks. Nice Here's kick. Mysterious. Smart move. Is this. Two points. They shoot for their biggest lead of the game with 123 to go. Patience. Gonna eat some time up, eat some clock up, and try to get a great shot. Live with the result. If they make it, they're in a great position. Yep. Grant coming to get it. Jackson keeps it. Five to shoot. Here comes Jackson to Vastoria, driving all the way inside. Defenders in all of college basketball. 
turnovers, long shots. This is where you got to watch Butler against the Irish when they push the basketball beautifully. Davon Reed really went hard to the basket. Looked like he got fouled. Ultimately, they wound up getting the bucket. As Jaron Grant, remember, he was not a part of the Notre Dame team at this time last year. He missed basically the second half of the season. Academic issues came back for his senior year and has been one of the very best players in the country this year. Jack August set a lot of ball screens and the floor is fresh. a smart move to take it from one side to the other. Robinson finishing it off in the reverse. That was a basket by a young man from balance. You didn't like it, you're looking at me. I am looking at you. Grabbed him. I'm, I'm looking at you like funny. Why? <laughs> Miss easy opportunities, especially on the road against a good team like Notre Dame. And Bohannon missed one there. Vasturia knocks down. To put the ball on the ground and beat you off the bounce. Fluger have a little guard on the inside and Matt Farrell who's 6-1 on the interior just take your time and get into that hook shot I thought he rushed that one Xavier Taylor Rex Fluger fires Olsen went down hard he's okay so Collins comes back in the game they go right to him but he's got to just slow himself down a little bit Beecham for three. Bullseye. Started to hit threes. He said, if that continues, this game is going to get away from us. We have to be better guarding one on one. Better on that end and on this end of the floor, Alice. And they need to get Steve Astoria started. He was just one of seven against Georgia Tech on Saturday, one of five in the first half here. EJ Beecham from the elbow. That's ah, cool. It's remarkable how team shooting percentages increase based on the number of times that they swing the ball from one side to the other. It, you know, it, let's just say you bring it down and you throw it into the post, it's 33% and swing it, it's 68%. So put to play that hard, and his skill level developed, but it, it, he was bis bigger physically and it would his will on guys. But since he's, you know, kind of committed to playing hard and learning the craft, he's gotten so much better and has made that jump in freshman sophomore year, and you saw all that skill level on that hook right there. Notre Dame patiently working the ball around the perimeter. Here's Beecham. Got it. Minutes to go in the second half. Notre Dame and Virginia Tech. Gibbs back in the game for Notre Dame. He's the one that gave him the lift early second half. The story of the deep three. One of the tournament. They've beaten three top 25 teams. I mean, this is. It really is. Every night's a battle, and it's a different type of battle. A lot of a lot of skilled players, a lot of teams that can get and score points, and, and, and also out tough you. But that Big East back in the day, that was a bloodbath a lot of times. It's really morphed into today's ACC. Farrell, a nice dish to Colson. Freeze, who's got four. Vastoria bounces it back for Colson. Florida did to Kentucky. Well, I saw Gonzaga set a courtside against Florida in the second half when he dominated the second half. Mark Fuse Club is absolutely legitimate. That's basketball alone undefeated. Beach him to the lane. Yes. First shot of the game is from the freshman Kai Bowman, who has been scintillating from beyond the arc in his last four games. Boy, a good start for Boston College. Their confidence has been down the latter few games, and the freshman has really led them, as you mentioned, Rich. 71% from three over his last four is Kai Bowman, the 6'1 freshman out of Havelock, North Carolina. Here's Colson and his first touch. Beecham fires a three and matches. Game is a battle. First match up this club, 83-81 by Florida State. That was round one. Irish made 15 threes, and they got beaten that game. But they turned it over 18 times for a high for the season for them. Bonzi Colson lifting his first shot. And Listen to it. I'll say Jealous by Nick Jonas. That's a good song. But, hey, people probably be surprised I listened to it. <laughs> Listening to these guys and finding out the musicians they consider old, the music they consider old school, yeah, reminded me of my age a little bit. Yeah, you're, you're not lying, Allison. <laughs> hey, where's Lionel Richie and where's Smokey Robinson, the Motown Super? All-time classic. Difficult shots. If, if that's something you can change and find, but otherwise, you got to keep them in the gym and show them good stuff. By the way, undernoted stat tonight, Duke's 19 of 23. Mitchell 
too much on the fastball off the hands of Blossom game. Be interesting to see how Matt Farrell responds here in the second half as he knocks down the three in the corner. Can't be matching baskets here. You got to get some stops. Yeah, that's the problem. You're so far back here in this game. Got to let your defense do something. Tough though against Notre Dame, one of the most efficient offensive teams in the country. Mm -hmm. Fluger wide open. Bang. Colson already hit from that wing spot. I like that he passed on the shot, though. And that's why. Up and rebounds. An interesting look here. Nobody occupying the paint. Just letting Colson get it outside. Thomas at 6'9", 230. And Thomas is very skilled, a young man who was a top 50 recruit coming out of high school, signed with Texas A&M, but only stayed there for one semester. So made him eligible after transferring in the second semester this year. And he's added instant offense to this Clemson lineup. Nothing coming easy for the Irish. Colson. Into the paint. In tight quarters, rolls it in. Throughout the country that we watch that don't have point guard play, such as what Notre Dame has. Uh, he waited his turn, played behind some talented guards in South Bend. We make Notre Dame use some time in the backcourt. Irish now inside 20 on the shot clock. Talk about Notre Dame's offensive system, but in terms of the tempo, as Vastoria goes around his back, they're not one of the quickest teams in the country. They do look for opportunities, and they don't mind taking shots, and then they get it. Like they've been, he said, I show them winning plays. I have to be as positive as I can. High percentage offense, good stops and forcing late clock shots on defense. Confidence is everything. Colson forced it up. Head's having right now. Who? 17 points for Kai Bowman, the freshman. Their largest lead was 13. They lead by 10 to start the second half. Notre Dame with the ball. Irish looking for their 20th win on the season. They would move to 9-5, and five, but they have got their hands full against a good offensive Boston College club. Through. Young guys out there, you should shoot the ball right as if you were shaking hands with somebody and then lift your elbow up. That's exactly where you should release it from. Your thumb's almost on your ear. I like that. I hope my sons are listening right now. <laughs> Here's Colson. Showing off the array of moves. But moving forward can be a much better basketball team, especially on the offensive end. They need that third score behind Bowman and Robinson. Youth in the backcourt for Notre Dame. The freshman Gibbs, the sophomore Fluger. The feed into Colson. And that's one of the areas where Mike Bray talked to us about whether or not they would play a lot of man to man and chase Georgia Tech around these screens. And you see a beautiful feat. Again, from Matt Farrell in that game, running the floor. And you have a big guy that does that and has good post moves. That's all you can ask for, for from a coach. Will Raymond with two to tie us up at seven. Five minutes in. Gebbin goes to work. Yeah. Tied at 19. August tries to back in. Nice job by Josh in there. Here now, kind of a little bit return to what he was in high school, which is what Mike Bray saw from him, playing with a lot of confidence for the Irish right now. Gibbon on the block. Nice throw. And Florida State, Florida State. Um, you know, they got those three tall guys, seven foot one guys. So Tell everybody should, what happened to George's hunt. Um, I, I believe it was um, a foot injury. And, um, you know, outstanding player for the Yellow Jackets. So, big loss for them. August, nice. <laughs> well, he has shown you the wares. Ooh. I think actually he got himself a little bit in trouble that time. Didn't really know what to do. And Owens bailed him out by doing a great job running the court. Notre Dame continues this crisp ball movement here tonight. 
Lions. Almost from the start, they have been very efficient at the offensive end, and that guy's been. And their defense, but they're not a bad defensive team, but boy, they sure haven't done anything to slow the Panthers down here in the first four minutes of this one. Four different players have scored for the Panthers. That was Artis on the previous basket. This is Connaughton. Shot clock is at 10. August with a pump. Got the roll. Northeastern campus. Elevates. Finishes with the right hand. Joe Cohn has done a nice job of the adjustment. Put the basketball in his hands. The guard plays with Northeastern has been in trouble because of Jackson's pressure on the ball. August gets it down. It's bad news for Wichita State. Jaron Grant with five assists hasn't scored yet. Everyone else involved. And with five assists on six field goals. Unbelievable. August in poor position. Anytime the clock is stopped and you get a chance to put some points on the board, when it's going to be tough to come by points as the game wears on, you got to make those free throws. Jackson had a look, instead went to August to Banks. It's delivered. Bobby, we talked about it. This game starting like the other two were played. Yeah. On the road, Tim, it's, and especially senior day, you have to get off to a good start if you're punching. Jackson looked at it. They jumped out at him. Down low they go to the big fella. August will back in. Nice pass to Connaughton. And that's something that Wake Forest is going to be looking at. Notre Dame switches one through four. So Dinas will, number 44 in black, will end up with a guard on them in the low box. They can take advantage of it on the interior. Easy mismatch for August to try it. From Hanlon. Irish trying to work in transition. August. Put up. It really is great to see Dennis Clifford back and relatively healthy as he has battled knee injuries for the better part of the last two seasons. August has the seal, allows the Clifford's first shot, and the Eagles' first shot rims out. Notre Dame can run with, what, anybody in the country, Dan? Oh, I think so. They pass the ball so very well. And when they're on offense, none of their guys is ever just standing around. The ball goes from one place to the other. The players move around. You've got to really pay attention when you're guarding. The first half, and it's too strong. Yeah, good job by Gevin there. An uncharacteristic miss from Welton down low. But that's what St. Peter's wants. They want to get him a lot of space down low. You saw no double teams. Just wasn't able to finish. Steve Vastoria off the curl with his second. On that steal by Bonzi. And Notre Dame, as we said at the top, one of the best teams in the country offensively. Seventh in the nation in offensive efficiency. And that's his teams are. And that's the first thing. Whenever you talk to coaches, assistant coaches, anyone involved with this league, they just talk about, man, how good is this league and how unforgiving it is, whether you're playing good or bad. Yeah, no, no. So you want to still continue to create good habits if you're Buzz Williams' team. And I think he's an excellent teacher. He'll break that down on film tomorrow. Torres kicks it out. You know, Wes, this is eerily similar to the Clemson game that Boston College played on the weekend. They've done a nice job shutting Notre Dame down here in the half, but they, they haven't made any headway. They've only made four of 16 shots yeah. now. Tough they shooting have, here. Their last four games, Dan, they're shooting 36% from three and making nine threes a game, but they go through these droughts. Same. Vastoria a little short. about Dean Smith and his impact on the game, and you heard all the things Coach Bray talked about, and it's not just Coach Bray that they got there. So many coaches have been influenced by him and, and his leadership. In New Jersey native. Right, exactly. John knows how tough this kid is, too. He's going to come back. He's got too many people here. Plus, he is a gamer. Using the bumps on the side, something Mike said they're doing a better job. Pinning people for curls. Beach him deed up by Briggs. Somehow gets it out of there to Colson. Kick out Gibbs for three. Another New Jersey. Fluger pulls it, runs the Irish. You notice how far you have to go out and guard your guy, which is why Colson's so tough in the box area. Luger looking to the post for Gavin. Nice cut. And then he takes it from Gavin. Nice good, tough shot. Luger pulls it. He could have squared up. He had a little pop shot. Get out, get out. Harold defended by Brunson. On to Vistoria. Thinks he can take. 
Hart nearly got the steal. The story is slipping.